Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. We continue our discussion with Matt von Conrad by discussing the environmental impacts that threaten the existence of the descendants of early land plants. My name is Matt von Conrad and I am a collections manager and adjunct curator in bryophytes or early land plants at the Field Museum. So these liverworts or early land plants, they suffer from similar threats as many other plants and animals in various ecosystems throughout the world. One of the critical threats is loss of habitat. That's a major threat and it's happening in many parts of the globe at a uh, phenomenal rate. Habitat loss can lead to fragmented forest ecosystems. In New Zealand, there have been um, large deforestation of lowland forests to create pasture land. These fragmented forest ecosystems some might be quite large, which could possibly sustain a reasonably healthy forest ecosystem, but others are very small. And these different sizes in the in forest patches and fragmented systems and so on can lead to changes in not only the forest composition of seed plants and vascular plants, but also to changes in composition of bryophytes. Another threat to bryophytes are actually um, other plants in some cases. In many places in the world, there is a serious problem with invasive plant species. In New Zealand, there is this uh, invasive noxious plant called Selaginella, which is actually commonly cultivated throughout the world. But in New Zealand, Selaginella is an invasive species and it smothers the forest floor or the forest carpet and prevents uh, these plants, these bryophytes, from, um, from growing. When we've been collecting plants there for uh, many, many years, for decades, and so we're still reporting all these new species to the island, yet there's active habitat loss going on. Other threats are atmospheric pollutants. Because these plants are really small and they respond rapidly to environmental change. If there are pollutants in the atmosphere, that can have a large impact or a negative impact on these plants, especially around urban centres. Because there are pollutants in the atmosphere, they are simply unable to grow there. Because these plants often grow in compact mats on the ground, trampling can be a, a very real threat. By humans making tracks, and walking through the forest and so on. So another threat, a very real threat, that in some cases happens on a massive scale, is harvesting. These bryophytes, this group called mosses, or especially sphagnum, these plants have this massive ability to absorb water and retain water like a, like a sponge. And because of this feature, the sphagnum, which grow often in boggy areas. It's commonly harvested in some parts of the world for export to the floral industry. You'll see the sphagnum, which is in the base of pots, because it retains the water and so it sort of holds the moisture and helps the, helps the plant. And in some areas in the world, this is actually becoming a very disturbing problem. So this is a very real threat to this group of plants in those habitats, often harvesting them from countries where there's no regulation and exporting them to other areas where there's a demand for the flower industry and the potting industry and so on.